Hi everybody, it's Oksana and it is July favorites time and unfortunately I don't have a lot of things. I feel like I say that a lot. I feel like I said that last month and I ended up having quite a bit of things. But this time I really think <laughs> that I don't have that much stuff. But I tried to throw in some, you know, non-makeup things in here to kind of spice it up <laughs> so it's not a super short video. But I'll start with the makeup. So I have in here this amazing sea buckthorn fruit oil that I got from the All Natural Faces store. And this is different than the seed oil. This is very orange. And it is very staining to your skin. See the orangeness? Um, the good news is it sort of rubs away if you don't put a ton of it on. And if you do your skincare at night, like me, then you don't really have to worry about it because it fades away probably maybe within like an hour or so. So by the morning, it's gone. And what I really like about it, besides the fact that it's great for your skin, it's got all kinds of, you know, nutrients and antioxidants and all that stuff, um, is it makes my skin look really radiant. It doesn't feel heavy or greasy. It's a very lightweight oil. I do about one drop of this mixed into my Silk Naturals Awesome Sauce, which is my favorite too. I didn't bring it just because I feel like I mentioned that a lot, so I don't want to get super repetitive with my favorites. Um, but that is my holy grail serum and that is all I do for moisturization in the summer because my skin is not dry in this heat and humidity <laughs> of the south. So this is just an amazing, amazing oil. Um, it, this one is cold pressed which means that um, most of the nutrients are preserved and heat is not used and it's not processed with chemicals and stuff like that. So just wonderful. and. It doesn't smell that bad, but it does have a pretty unique, like, not ridiculously strong, but like a, a noticeable scent. I don't mind it at all. Um, I can see how maybe some people may not like it, and they have one with essential oil of lavender in it for people that don't like the scent that want something to mask it. Um, but I'm fine, so I just got the regular plain one. And then for makeup, so um, if you watched my little tiny haul of just these two things from the All Natural Face, um, you'd know I also got their Loose Powder Foundation, and I really like it. Um, I like their pressed foundation a lot, and um, I'm planning on pressing this myself just so I can kind of press it with my own ingredients and, and not have uh, preservatives in there. But this is such a wonderful foundation. I feel like the All Natural Face Foundation isn't talked about quite as much as other uh, mineral foundations, but I just think it's wonderful. And the color I have is Light Beige Warm, which is a pretty good match for me. Um, here it is on my hand. My hand's obviously kind of tan compared to my face, but um, it's a really good match. It's nice and warm. It's I used to use the uh, Porcelain Kids by Honey, but this one is a little bit warmer. So if you're warm toned, this might work a little better for you but you're kind of like the same level as Porcelain Kids by Honey. Um, it might appear a teeny bit darker just because of the tones are slightly different. But I just, I really, really like this. It is matte, but it doesn't look powdery or dry. You can build it up to have quite good coverage. And it just, it looks natural. It looks flawless. I love it. It, it doesn't feel drying or cakey on my skin. It's just a wonderful mineral powder foundation. They have so many colors. The ingredients are really um, plain and basic. Mica, titanium dioxide, zinc oxide, boron nitride, um, and iron oxides for color. I mean, that's it. Um, there's no silica or clays if you have dry skin like silica always dries me out and another foundation is this foundation um from the conservatory this is their new doesn't say what it's called but it's some kind of like full coverage or high co complete coverage <laughs> that's what it's called and this is the color lumiere this is their press foundation their regular one is now called sheer coverage and this is the complete coverage um and i like this because it has really good coverage 
and it's easy to use, um, nice pressed foundation, just um, blends in good, has a really good finish. Um, it's not exactly matte, but it's not dewy, it's like a very natural sheen kind of finish, which I really like. And it's just been easy to use, I've been using um, these two mineral foundations pretty much for the entire month of July, because it's hot and I feel like my skin does better with powder this time of year. Ironically, I'm not wearing either one of these right now, <laughs> but that's what I've been wearing most of July is these two things. Um, and then I also noticed that I wore this lipstick quite a bit. This is Pinkle Twinkle from Red Apple Lipstick. And it's just been one of those like easy to throw on colors that just kind of goes with everything and is also um, like if I'm not wearing a lot of makeup it doesn't necessarily look like too colorful or too bright or anything like that. So again, I don't have this on my lips right now, um, but I have worn it in quite a few recent uh, videos that I've done. And I thought I would mention it because I noticed that I'm wearing it a lot. <laughs> it's been a favorite. And it's just a really pretty color. Um, cool tones tend to look kind of like natural on me. Like I look a lot more natural in cool tone uh, lip products. So that's what I gravitate towards and that's what it is. It's kind of a cool tone pink and it has just the tiniest hint of gold. Sometimes it's hard to see. Like in this light, I can't even see it, but when I'm looking at it in my bathroom or actually if you just look at it in the tube that you can see teeny tiny little gold shimmers. That's a favorite. And that is it for makeup makeup. Then I have this skincare item. This is a Cebu Beauty C Buckthorn Balance and Facial Cleanser. And I got this a while back. I also have their Solid Bar. And I've been using the Solid Bar with my Clarisonic Mia. And that's been working really well for me. But then I was thinking I need to start using this because um, I guess it doesn't expire till 2015. Um, in May 2015, but still, um, I don't like to have, you know, products like this sitting out forever and ever and ever, because the bar, like, lasts a really long time, and it doesn't really go bad, but uh, liquid products <laughs> go bad a lot quicker, and so I started using it, and how I use it is I have a little scrubby uh, towel or a little piece of it that I cut off so it's a little bit easier to work with from Silk Naturals which is awesome for exfoliating and washing your face with and I pump this out this has those little beads I think they're little jojoba beads doesn't say on the back the ingredients but I think they're they feel like those little jojoba beads which don't do much for me in terms of exfoliation because they're just like too soft and smooth but um, the, the little scrubby towel from Silk Naturals does, and I just wash my face with it. It lathers up, and it works really well. I really like it. It leaves my skin feeling really nice and clean, but, like, not overly clean, not, like, squeaky clean where it feels tight or dry. So definitely just a really nice cleanser, and I've been enjoying it this month, and I'm going to continue to use it until I use it up. And then I have this kind of... Um, I don't know, tool <laughs> sort of thing. This is just a nail file. Here's what it looks like. Nothing special about the nail file itself. I got this from Sephora, and this is actually Tweezer Man is the brand. And it's kind of expensive for a nail file. It's like five bucks. I don't think that it's necessarily like the most amazing nail file I've ever used. It's just as good as any other nail file. I don't really know what it would have to do to set itself apart. But the reason that it's my favorites is this little case that it's in. This little plastic case. This is so nifty. I can't believe I didn't know something like this existed and I can't believe it's not more common. Maybe I just haven't been paying attention, but this is such a good idea because nail files always file away at like everything in your purse. And it's so annoying, so to have a nice little case like this where it doesn't take up much more room than it would normally, and it's still nice and slim, this is just perfect. So I keep this in my purse, and I'm just really happy with it. <laughs> it's awesome. I always, um, I like to have a nail file in my purse because it's so handy. You never know when you like chip or break a nail, and I hate having that kind of like feeling where it's, scratchy and it like it really bothers me I need to file it right away so um, a really good thing to have and I know it's five bucks is kind of a lot for a nail file but you just buy it one time and then you can probably put a different nail file in here when this one is no longer you know 
<laughs> usable and just keep the little case. So totally worth it just for the case. And then the next to last thing is, this is kind of a favorite. This is not something that I've been wearing this month. It's a piece of jewelry, but it's something that I made this month. So you may know that I'm really into wire wrapping and I really wanted to make like a huge, um, very statement kind of pendant and I made this and let me show it to you a little closer as I talk about it. Let me zoom in a little. So this is um, chevron amethyst is a stone and I just I really wanted to make something massive like this where I can put a lot of different like details a lot of different styles incorporated all into one thing. So just kind of like an example of <laughs> all the different things I do in one um, item. And so this is more of like something I'm proud of this month. I'm proud that I uh, made this and, and finished it because it took me a really long time. It was a lot of work and I'm just really excited. I know it's gigantic and I may not um, realistically wear it <laughs> very often just because... Um, I don't think you can just wear it with anything every day, but I mean, I can see myself wearing it in, on certain occasions, depending on, you know, maybe with like a dress, more like a formal thing, but this is just more of something I'm really excited about that I finished <laughs> this month. So that is that. And then the last thing are these crepes and the brand is called Lister. This is what the packaging looks like. And they have really basic ingredients. They're imported from France. And the ingredients are fresh whole milk, wheat flour, sugar, whole eggs, um, concentrated butter, 12% salt, and buckwheat flour. And that is it. So there's no um, added flavors or anything. It is just kind of basic crepe um, ingredients. And they taste so good. They're a little bit sweet, um, so it's kind of like a, a treat. <laughs> you can tell that they have sugar in them. Uh, but they're just, they're so good. They're thin and they, oh, they just, they're really, really good. And I have not been able to find them here at all. I can't find them for sale online. Um, my Whole Foods store doesn't carry them, which is where I found them at, when I was visiting my parents in Massachusetts. It's carried in like the New England area, but it's not carried down south. And they told me that they can't order them because they are in like a different regional area. And so they can't even get them, unfortunately. So I got this package because my mom <laughs> mailed it to me. Well, she was mailing me a bunch of stuff that I forgot over at their house after my trip. And so I was like, pick me up some of those crepes, <laughs> throw them in the package. And she did. Uh, so I'm very thankful for that. And now I have them. I have another package she got me too. So very exciting. And that is a food favorite. And I almost forgot the very, very last thing. I don't have anything physically in front of me and that's why I almost forgot, but juicing. I have been really enjoying juicing this past month. And I'm gonna make a video where I actually show you my juicer and it's too heavy and big for me to like bring it upstairs where I film and show it to you. But um, I've been making vegetable juice after visiting my mom and using her juicer. I came home and I was like, I need to get me a juicer. <laughs> and um, Dash is the brand of it. I'll show it to you and um, maybe show you like how I actually use it and all that stuff in a separate video where I talk all about juicing. Uh, but that has been a favorite is making vegetable juices with my juicer. So that is it. Those are all of my favorites for July. And thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.